Hey, okay, so today is Wantable Day. Yesterday I got my Transcend and I did an unboxing, but I don't even know, you guys, if it's worth posting. I mean, it was just kind of a, a skinny box. There was a couple of cool things in there and I'm probably gonna keep a couple items, but it just wasn't the usual box. There was not as many things, but I don't know, we'll see. You'll see if, um, I'm itchy because I had my hair up, excuse me. It's just another crazy day. Again, raining outside, dark outside, dark room. Sorry. Okay, so Wantable looks a little bit different already from the outside. Remember the white boxes with the black lettering and stuff? And this is in an envelope now. It looks like they've got the return bag in the envelope, which is kind of cool. Okay, so there's our return bag. And then more stuff. Okay, so this is all new. I'm not sure what this is. You're seriously the best. Thank you. Part love, part data. Totally personal. One size doesn't fit all. I think it's uh, more of your information, your data why it's important to keep up on your sizes and stuff. I don't know, I don't have time to read through that right now. I have time, I just don't want to. And then of course, your closet is going to thank you. That's a little bit different. Um, and then again, everything that is in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, seven items. All right, let's see what... Madeline is my stylist. Hi, Desiree. Winter is sneaking up on us, and the fluctuating temperatures of in-between seasons can make it tricky to get ready for the day. These versatile layers will be perfect whether you have to take on the work week or penciling in a low-key night. Yes, yeah, been watching the newest Netflix hit. Definitely counts as plans. Yay! Thanks for your note. I'm excited to send you sweaters and colored jeans for your request, as well as some of your pics from the stream. Can't wait to hear your thoughts at self-checkout. My note, sweaters, of course, and burgundy pants, jeans would be nice. I got my burgundy pants. Darn it. Anyway, okay, let's see. I, I gotta remember to change those things. I think you guys do it too. All right, so, wow. Big, big, big old bundle here. The bigger the better, right? I see burgundy in there. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, let's get to this. Um, I already love the fabric. I don't know what it is. And I honestly don't remember what has been on my stream. Okay, this looks like a faux leather. Um, probably don't need another black jacket, but look at the little detail here. Normally, not me. I'm not much of a rock and roll motorcycle girl. But, you know, you never know. That's just some little detailing on the shoulder and it looks like just a drape jacket with that sort of crinkled look on it very light um, very soft but hey that's cool I think it's cool because it's different it's not something I would normally pick okay um, next up pretty color like a blush color okay it looks just like a really cute turtleneck sweater open weave. I really don't think I have a sweater this color. This is nice. It is wantable, so you know their stuff's been kind of, oh no, it's not. Okay, never mind. We'll look at sizes later, but that's kind of a cute sweater, isn't it? A blush color. Okay. Ooh, I like this color already. Little plaid wintry shirt. I like the colors on this. I like the, uh, um, the this, the sort of um, tan, I guess you could call that, mixed in with the black and red and white and blue and gray. Light flannel. This is really cute. I wonder if this is a beach lunch lounge or something like that. Beach lunch lounge. I wonder if that was on my stream. Okay, next up. Oh, good, they're not pants. Burgundy, that's not pants. Yay, because I already got my pants, like I've said a million times. Like I said. I've already got my pants. Aren't these cute? My burgundy pants. Yeah, I love them. Okay. 
back to what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, this looks like another cool burgundy cardi, a long cardigan. Do not have a long cardigan this color. So there's that. We'll see how that looks on. Uh, better not be by Wannable. It's by Wannable. So you know it's overpriced. I don't know why their clothes are so overpriced. Maybe they're trying to, to boost the sales on their own stuff. I don't know. Okay. Always welcome. Black. Okay, um, another wantable sweater. This is very similar to the long black tunic, that wantable tunic that I thought was like way overpriced in my last box. Um, this is shorter, very soft. Um, solid black sweater, seam down the front, seam down the back, and then a seam on the arms. Again, by wantable. Um, their stuff is okay. It's just kind of overpriced. Okay, um, some Vigas. Oh. Okay, more of a purpley. More of a purpley than a red. Let's see. Well, they're pretty close. I don't know. Those are my Articles of Society. I think I did put those on my stream a while ago. Um, which... These are kind of hard for me to fit. Um, they have the unfinished hem. They tend to be big in the waist, tight in the legs. All my articles of society, so after like a little bit of wearing them, they start to droop. Um, I usually get a 26 or a 27, and depending on the cut, they do that. These are a 26. Nice color though, isn't that a pretty color? Okay, thank you for putting that in there. And then just a pair of Vigas Lux Stretch Super Skinny Jeans. Do not need these at all. I'm going to have to start putting on everything. No more jeans. Kashmir Rajneesh, no jeans. <laughs> Nobody will get that. Okay, um, so that are the seven items in my Wannable box. So much better than what we're used to getting, girls, the randomness. The weird stuff. This is a good, good box. Basics, nothing crazy. Everything could pretty much go together here, or you could make it go together. I would say just a pretty good box. Now, let's look at pricing, especially on those wantable items. Okay. All right. The, they call that rose dust, the blush colored cow neck, 62. The black sweater, wantable sweater, 58. The wantable cardigan, 68. Uh, the Articles of Society burgundy jeans, 68. The plaid shirt, 68. The faux suede drape jacket, 88. And then the Vigas jeans, 68. So, for all seven pieces, it looks like nothing is on sale. These are the actual prices. And they're doing them like this a little bit. The price is in red. And then the total is at the bottom. Merchandise total, $480. Minus a discount if I keep five items of $96. Minus my styling fee of $20. Brings it all down to $364. Okay. Well, I currently don't have four hundred dollars to spend on clothes right now. I bought quite a bit, I think, last month. Plus, I still have stuff that's coming. Granted, I got some good prices, but you know, the four hundred dollars with Christmas coming up. Plus, I don't really have it right now, so it wouldn't be everything. Even if I loved everything, I just couldn't keep everything. So I will get to trying these on. And um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This is why we hate. Christmas. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's a little cowl. This is by Rag Poets. It's called the Lucia Cowl Neck Sweater in Rose Dust in a size small. And this is $62. And I've got the Vigas Jeans, or Vigas, Marley Super Skinny in Dark Wash. I would not call these a dark wash. In a size 26 for $68. Don't need that cami on. Okay. 
Uh, definitely not a dark wash. I would say a medium wash. Super, super comfy jeans. I don't need them, but my goodness, are they comfortable? They feel like those Spanx I just got. And here's the little cowl neck. It's okay. It looks a little plain and again, is it me or is it crooked? I think I'm crooked. You know, after all those sweaters I bought at Forever 21, I really don't think I need this. It does look a little bland. Um, but it is a nice knit. I like that squishy. It's like that kind of nylon blend in there where it's kind of bounces right back. It's a nice, it's fairly warm too. It's a nice uh, ragabout, what I would call a ragabout sweater. And it's, it's kind of cute. It's really comfortable. I just, it is a wee plain, but it's cute. It's comfortable. Not sure it's worth uh, $62, but I'll be back. Okay. Well, super cute top, very soft. This is by Beach Lunch Lounge that I mentioned before. It's called a Bailey plaid top in sunlight, size small. This is $68. This really is very soft. I don't know what that is. Inspection sticker, I guess. Uh, really comfortable top. And I know a lot of people have, have said, I can get Beach Lunch Lounge at TJ Maxx or um, Marshalls. So, I don't know. Let's put on this little Wannable cardigan. I think this is $68 as well. Very thin soft though basic burgundy cardigan hooded yes there is a hood in the back so this is kind of a cute outfit isn't it nice little weekend outfit here's the cardi Again, really cute Cardi. Is it worth $68? I don't think so. Um, I might, might pay $48 for it, but I don't really know about that. It is nice. It is pretty well made. I'm not having any issues with it. It is a little on the thin side, which gives me pause for the $68. But it's a nice little basic cardigan. It's, I think, around the same price as that one I got from Stitch Fix that I thought was much heavier, but I didn't think that was worth the price either. So I think I'm just getting more and more picky. This is by Wannable if I didn't say it before. Okay, a uh, couple other things. Be right back. Okay, so next up we have the Wannable Dolman Hachi top and small for 58 Very light, very flowy. And I'm wearing the Articles of Society Sarah Cut Off Him Skinny in Boise Wash in a 26. So we got the pockets in, right? Okay, here we go. Okay, the top is okay. Is it high, low? Or is that him the same? It's very comfortable, it's very flowy, it is not very warm. So I would actually need to use this as a layering piece. The jeans fit great right now. Again, snug in the leg, a little looser in the waist, but I'll show you the, the pants. Great color. What is with my voice? Um, super nice color. Almost that eggplanty burgundy. They're nice pants. I think they're 68 as well. Yeah, I read you that already. So yeah, really comfortable pants. I'll tell you though, guys, though, those Vigas jeans were just as comfortable, no kidding, as my Spanx. Kind of the same feeling fabric too. Okay, I'm not sure I can put this over this big dolman sleeve, but let's give her a go. Uh, this is by Vigas as well. 
This is, if I haven't already read it, the Braided Faux Suede Drape Jacket in black, crackle, in a small. Make sure we got all this right. Okay, here's the jacket. You know what? I like this detail on the shoulder. I think it's kind of funky, kind of cool. Um, I don't need this jacket. I really don't need it. I do like it though. I think it's, uh, I'm so tired of saying edgy, edgy. I do think it's kind of, kind of funky, kind of rough, like wear some kind of lace with it would be awesome. Let's zip it up. See how that looks. If this jacket ever like went on super sale, I may consider purchasing it, purchasing it. I just know I won't be wearing it right now at this time of the year and I certainly don't need it. But let's see how it looks zippered. It is a drape jacket clearly. Kind of a cool jacket, isn't it? Wait, I got too many things on under here. Okay, and not sure how it's looking kind of funny with this kind of a um, lot of fabric sweater, but there it is zipped up. Fits me well. It is a small, let's try going all the way up, which I've never seen anybody wear this all the way up, but you could. So yeah, that little detail on the shoulder is kind of cool and I normally don't like stuff like that. So I don't know, this is a fun, unique, unique jacket. I think that's what's attracting my attention. Um, so yeah, there's that. Let's undo it again. See how hard or easy it is to undo. I'm getting just a little bit tired of this drape front stuff. All right, so trying to get you as much light as I can. Okay, so that's everything. Okay, so what do you think? I think that is one of the best wantable boxes I have ever gotten. There is nothing weird. There is nothing I wouldn't wear. In fact, um, I would almost consider if I hadn't already bought a bunch of stuff and I had 400 or whatever the discount is, um, dollars to spend, I may keep everything. I think it's honestly that good. There's nothing, I, like I said, that I didn't like. Everything fit well. Everything was pretty much my style. That jacket kind of surprised me, although I have had drape jackets in the past, faux suede, faux leather. leather. I haven't had anything with that kind of detail. So that was kind of cool. So, um... Wow, this might be kind of a decision for me because I, I kind of liked everything. I think, like I said, this is the first time I've ever considered keeping all seven, seven, not five, seven items. Okay, kids, let me know what you think. Um, long day, clearly, and I'm home, and I got stuff to do. So I will see you later. Let me know what you think about this surprising wantable box, okay?